Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. <laughs> he is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Kodak's device making you sick? A new study... Eight or nine rounds, then we find uh, Hoth. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders, without even touching them. I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. Hmm. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. Holy crap. I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuke and lady to deal with. Perfect timing. Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. Just you wait. They'll be crawling back to us in no time. I don't know, Quill. They were all pretty damn pissed when they left. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. <sighs> but even with all that, I just want you to know, I believe in you, man. I mean, you always figure something out. Thanks, Rocket. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe in something. And you're the closest thing to me right now. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Groot? What are you doing here? I am Groot! Is there an award for quickest turnaround? Because if there is, <laughs> you'd win it. Didn't you just leave? This is serious, Peter! I am Groot! 
Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. It appears where the forge granted life. Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Are you friggin' kidding me? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I don't get it. Didn't we destroy the forge? How is it inside her? It blew up in her face, didn't it? Well, that's where it is. In her face. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. We took down Thanos. We can totally handle Hala, right, guys? <laughs> guys? I am Groot. But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It's not too late for us to change. Come on, guys, I'll be out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot wants to show us something. Me, man, I'm innocent. You've got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in here and knock him out. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. I am Groot, and I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon, and I did hey, not. You take it easy. Uh, knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me, especially you. I am Groot. Really? Him? Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh, not you. Uh. We're too good-looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? 
The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there! All of you! I will not settle! No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. I am Groot! You all gotta stop fighting, or I'll make you stop. <laughs> I like this pathetic human. He shows bravery, even when he will certainly be pummeled to death. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that, uh, knife lady can kick the guards' asses until they're unconscious. And what are you doing while we do all the work? Well, the most important part, I'm gonna spring my hover bike out of evidence lockdown. Then you can all hop on the back, we ride like hell for Switzerland. I mean, uh, somewhere far from here. <laughs> Is that you, Rooks? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. Or... We could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friend. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. You guys, there's a reason you all ended up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. And let's go get them back. I am groomed. I am Groot! Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot? I have an idea! What? 
You're going to love it! minds this is inside my mind it seems kind of empty I've never shared this with anyone before and you didn't die or anything this is amazing I wasn't sure it would work but it did next time would you mind give me a heads up first oh I'm sorry I just got a little excited this island here represents your subconscious mind Peter and those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay, let's get this party started. It'll be fun. If we can reach your friend's islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Whoa, what the hell was that? On this plane, Emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back. This is my chance, We can revive Lila. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You... You can sense Drax, but... Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. Charge the forge. We can revive life. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive life. Peter, I'm beginning to sense Gamora. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? because of you, Peter.
Yes, Peter? So, what do I do now? Each memory, each emotion, will help build a bridge. You should gather more memories until we can find a path across. Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling. But please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your... Happiest moment with them. I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I... Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. Drax is somehow still out there. Your feelings can lead us to him. I still... I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. I know this place. I've been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? It's where her and Nebula still got along before... Well, before they didn't. Maybe the place reminds her of her sister. She must feel so lonely. So, I know where Gamora is. You've built bridges to the other islands. You should see where they lead.
That's the bridge. <laughs> Makes sense. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I'm glad he stuck around. He's a good friend. I suspect that is why he stayed. He knows how well you two get along. How much you need each other. So we found Rocket. What now? There are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. This is... What the hell does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! No. No, there is no way he could have survived back there. Apparently there is. This proves that he's alive. We wouldn't be able to locate him otherwise. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy. For someone such as yourself, not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I am an empath, so that is to be expected. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should, because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Let's go grab Drax. Let's go. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You, you did, that worm was, that was, you came out of it. Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill? <sighs> now what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? Revenge doesn't bring you happiness. It just delays the pain a while. It's about what you want, not what you need. That 
is incredibly wise. I am not used to hearing such wisdom from you, Peter. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead! Oh, I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try... Okay, I know you wanted to die. But that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Death is the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... You can't escape that fate forever. Eventually you will see her. But that doesn't have to be today, Drax. Uh, perhaps it is enough to have something to look forward to. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Expecting any calls today? Star-Lord! Ah! I do not know how you escaped the shrine, but there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. Oh, I'm not running from you at all. In fact, I think you are running from me. Enjoy making snipe jokes while you can. It will be short-lived. You have stolen everything from me. I will kill everyone you've ever known. Everyone you've ever loved. You're unbelievable, Quill. I am Groot. Yeah, you said it. Did Hala always look that... gnarly? It's as I said. The Forge is taking its toll on her. Yeesh. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got to hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Nah, I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. 
Gamora? You've got some nerve, following me here of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave, or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Oh, come on. You wouldn't hurt me. Oh, really? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> you said you'd keep everyone together! is more powerful than ever. Now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? Oh, sorry I didn't get the chance to mention it in the two seconds before you freaking attacked me! He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his, well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What? Ah, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. It's just part of my Star-Lord charm, I guess. Just too good looking to be unlucky. Oh, you are incorrigible. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend? To be bothered by that? Show me something. Anything! I gave Drax what he wanted. He asked me to let him go. It wasn't easy for me, but I'd do it again. How can you possibly say that? You shrugged through everything, free of consequence. While I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. Nebula made her choice. Her death? It wasn't your fault. <sighs> Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. Gamora, enough. We're the only ones who can help. So you can spend the rest of your life reflecting on what went wrong, or come with me and do something right. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. You're my rock. You're also the only one who gets my jokes. <sighs> I can't do this without you. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. Why don't you trust me, then? Let me share that burden with you. Carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and not feeling like you're making it any better. I feel that, too. I'm just so... So tired.
Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Yep. Definitely the same old Drax. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am Root. Root says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Yeah. First off, I wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all of those things. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... Things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes. We created a worthy adversary. She has to be stopped before she strikes again. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead, or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am Groot. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hala's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Flattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I am Groot. <laughs> Listen. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. Okay. Now you have my attention. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline. And all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big old hallway like this? Great place for a distraction. What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. 
If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. And I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes, we are. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. Go! Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Or if it's on her head, right out from above her nose. That well, sounds like you're volunteering, Rocket. Oh, yeah. Tell the 40-pound guy to steal the helmet off a Kree accuser. Be serious, Pete. All right. I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Oh, baby, am I looking forward to this? You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. You know, if, uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... I am Groot. Yeah. Me too. I am Groot. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're gonna be on protection duty. <laughs> I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back. And I ain't even been shot once. Not once! I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. <laughs> I, I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his... It is strange to have so many on the Malaf... Hey, Gamora. Hey. So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hollis' helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. See you in a bit. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I just gotta divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. 
We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Pete. Got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive, so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill speech. I mean... Look at Rocket. Damn it. Should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? There's nothing that you can't fix. I've seen you make technological miracles out of a handful of trash. Literal trash. I mean, that... That's amazing. Oh, Peter! Over here! It's me! Drax! The Destroyer! I volunteer to go next. Oh, I could never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> oh, this should be enjoyable. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. The woman I love. Peter. The woman I like. Peter. The woman I would like to love if she were maybe open to that sort of thing. Don't answer that right now. D uh, and... What about... Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. An antenna rockin' lady whose love of life inspires us all. Thank you, Peter. I do love life and all of you. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Drax. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. Because when it comes right down to it, we are all we've got. Life has taken a lot from us, but we're all still here. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance.
That was actually a good speech. Except for that love interest thing. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired! Then let's rock and roll. Peter, before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. Okay, this is it. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Gamora. Good. I've got yours, too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I... am broke. No, I ain't a traitor. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I... am broke. Yeah. That does sound worse. Hang on! Rubble coming your way! I'm... Uh, I'm almost to the... the computer court. I am broke. Exercise is hard, okay? Quill, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over the air engine gun. <laughs> okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. They fire that weapon now, I'm host. How's that protection going, Groot? I am Groot! Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Hanging up now. How's it going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I have not forgotten. There is an intercom button here. I shall press it. Greetings to all pathetic Kree warriors on this ship. This is Drax the Destroyer. I am waiting for you in the main hallway. Please come see me immediately. Peter, I believe I have gotten their attention. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Oh, no, you don't. Ah. Kind 
kind of busy here. Oh, no, you don't. Kind of busy here. Thank you. Rocket, all charges are planted. Pressed? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? I managed to get the helmet. Now what, Rocket? Launch it out an airlock. Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope! But now Hal is gonna be looking for it, and it'll be spinning through space! <laughs> Rocket! What? Oh, come on! I am group. What do you mean, Holla's heading for the bridge? Hey, Pete, you better get ready. Here we go. Nice one. You think you can defeat me? The Forge and I are one. You have only made me stronger. Ugh. <sighs> 
Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. Just take it easy while we're out here, okay? I'm worried about you. I won't scare you like that again, I promise. That means you'll have to drive us back. You, me, the stars. This is my happy place. Hey, you want to build it back up a bit? Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on. That's for amateurs. Don't let it burn out. Hey, how else are we gonna roast marshmallows? There you go. You've almost got it. Ha! Huh. Didn't even have to use the lighter fluid. Well done. No missing eyebrows for you tonight. Fire's... Fire's looking low, hon. You wanna build it back up a bit? What are you trying to say? The fire. <laughs> Look how low it is. That's strange. I... I could have sworn I... Mom. I... I, I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just... Wanted one last weekend with you. It was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? You'll always be my mom. I could never forget that. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom. feel so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where... Uh, uh, uh. It's the forge. I can feel it. It's... killing her. Hala... she is afraid. Peter? Baldin, where are you? <coughs> oh, there you are. It is you. Oh, my son. Forge's corruption must be affecting Hala's mind. I've missed you so much. She doesn't know what's going on. I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Baldir. I... 
I missed you too. Bardeen. I wish I could have done more. Everything I did, I did for you. I wanted you back by my side. I wanted you to see how great our people could be. You saved me. I'm here now because of you. I wish I could touch you. I have become... a monster. Look at me. I want you to remember... The good things. You'll always be my mom. I can never forget that. I... I... of the forge spread through her like poison honestly I feel bad about what happened to her I don't want to believe she was always like this <sighs> so we did it. Hull is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? I... I really don't know, Gamora. Ah, <sighs> I guess there's no going back now. We did all that we could. Oh, I... I think I could use a drink. I am Root. Yeah. Let's go. Hello? You guys still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey, can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Hey. Guy's gotta pay the bills. Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. <laughs> what is this? It tastes... I am Groot? Mmm. Tastes like victory. Victory tastes like... burning. I am Groot. P. 
Peter? Now that this is all over, there's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I... When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you, made you think she was alive for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do, and I feel terrible to have put you through that. I don't blame you, Mantis. You did what you had to do. I mean, in your shoes, I may have done the same thing. You're an extremely generous person to forgive others so freely. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart, destroying the forge and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. Of course it wasn't easy. She was my mom. Why are we talking about this now? What would you say if I told you I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. What about the others? They all lost someone close to them, too. I owe you a debt, Peter. Freeing me from my prison, destroying the Eternity Forge. I can't ever repay you for what you've done. But I can give you this. And I want to give it to you. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. No. No, I... Uh, I don't want to do that. My mom is gone. Okay, seeing her again won't bring her back. Besides... I have a new family. I think she'd be happy for me. Of course. Ah. <sighs> the Forge no longer holds any power over me. I... don't know what to do. Now that I am finally free of it, my life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel... okay. We could always use an empath on the team. Why don't you join the Guardians? Officially. Really? Definitely. Thank you, Peter. It will be nice to have a home instead of a box. My head finally feels... clear. Thank you, Peter. For all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many many doubts it would happen so many doubts oh daily doubts i honestly couldn't count them all i mean i didn't exactly do it on my own i'll take some credit yeah some a bit a, a tiny bit <laughs> oh never change peter how about a refill my hero Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. 
Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To new friends. Everything's better with you guys here. You can't see it under my fur, but I am blushing. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Eh, the galaxy can wait. Yeah. We gotta have a real celebration. For once. Now, where were we? 